second season of the Crimson and Cadoodle show. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've, uh, it's been a while in between seasons. We've been thinking of a few new things we can bring to the table, such as, uh, new dandelions, however we can't afford anymore. Uh, we, none of them grow in our backyard anymore. <laughs> so, uh, Cadoodle, what have you been doing in between the seasons? Well, I've seen that casualties have grown a lot, and so I started doing public PSAs. By PSA, you mean... Public safety announcement. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, what kinds of public safety announcements have you been doing? Well, uh, some people have been dying in Australia, so I... So watch this. Hey, mate. Think so cool over there? Sitting by the tracks? You could get hit by a train! Crikey! My leg! So you've been hired to give a terrible Australian accent and talk about how not to stand on railroad tracks? I thought it was a pretty good accent. What have you been doing with your time off, Crimson? Been trying to save and recreate the AI files that you destroyed. Me? Destroy AI files? I would never! Anyways, in between... In between seasons, I've also, I'm also learning different languages. Would you like to hear my French? No. Okay, buddy, here we go. <clears throat> oui, oui, baguette, je mange les pois. So I take it that's yes, yes, baguette eats the pear? Have you been taking French too? Though I was on my knees and begging them, we've been renewed by our bosses, and we're expected to have way more episodes this season than last season. Including new and improved shorts. Are we really doing this again? Yeah, we gotta promote our shorts. Anyways, if you like a vi if you like a part in the video, but only that specific part in the video. You don't have to click to that part of the video or watch the entire video anymore. Because let's face it, most of the stuff that we do here is ridiculous and not worth watching. You can say that again. But occasionally, every once in a while, we, we get one right. Uh, t take for example, uh, me wanting to raid Area 51. It seemed like a trending, a trending topic. So yeah, now rather than watching the entire episode, you can skip to your favorite parts. I don't know why you'd want to anyway, but... It's the future! Hey Crimson, Ron told me something important today. He told me the early bird gets the worm. It's good advice. <laughs> what does it mean? Well, if... You want something, you gotta go out and get it before it slips away from you. Okay, I get it. You know what else Ron told me? What? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Well, I guess that's good advice. Ron sounds like a good friend, smarter than most of the people you hang out with. You know what else Ron told me? What? There is no such thing as a weird looking rock. Um, I guess that's kind of true. Kind of odd compared to the other things this fella has been telling you. You know what else he said? I I'm having a hard time understanding this one, so I'd appreciate your help. It takes 16 mice to rule Fishington Square. I can't help you with that one. I don't really understand that one either. I was, I was just wondering if, 
Like, Fishington Square, it sounds like a very crimson place. You also hang out at, uh, you, they, you don't leave the house, do you? I take back what I said earlier about Ron sounding smarter than your average friend. Who is this Ron guy anyway? Is he like some Taco Bell employee or something? No, he comes to Taco Bell sometime, but he doesn't work there. Oh, there's Ron right now! Mm -hmm. Hi, Ron! Where is he? It's not nice to ignore people, Crimson. Learn your manners! The doodle, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I genuinely don't see mm -hmm. anybody anywhere, except for you. He's right there! Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about you, Crimson. Oh. Oh, I think I get it. Hi, Ron. How are you today? He says okay. So, Ron, how did you meet Kadoodle? He just left Crimson. He doesn't seem to like you very much. Hey, Crimson. Hey, Crimson! What? Hey. <laughs> do, do you have anything else to say? Well, no, not really. Hey, Crimson! Hey, Crimson! What? I forget. <laughs> Can you please stop bothering me then? Sure, buddy. Hey, Crimson! Shut up! Jeez, Mr. Grumpy Pants, didn't your mom tell you your manners when someone's telling you a joke? You're telling me a joke now? If you'd stop interrupting me, I'd get to it. Alright, Kadoodle, you have ten seconds to tell me your joke. Crimson, do you hear that? Crimson and Kadoodle, they're messing with my noodle. They keep saying things I don't understand. Hey guys, it's been a long time. I, I sure did miss both your uh, both your faces and your friendly dispositions. Jay Butter, it's so nice to see you. Yeah. Oh, of course, Kadoodle. There's there's few people in this world that I would rather spend time with, even if it has to be hanging from a windowsill. Hey, Shea Butter, I remember last time I saw you, you were about to tell me uh, a story about uh, you and squirrels. So, do you think you could continue that, please? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you that story. Yeah, so, this is, uh, this is how I formed my opinion on squirrels. A couple of weeks ago, I was heading over here just to see you guys, and, um, I was eating my breakfast taco, my delicious tortilla and egg. Uh, it was the perfect way to eat breakfast, because I can do it on the go, because I'm a busy guy with steamroller, you know, transportation means. But so, um, I'm just driving down the road, and then I heard it. The squishy scrunch of something that's been run over by the steamroller. And normally that doesn't happen. I'm pretty careful and most things are faster than three miles per hour. But this time, well, I was in for a surprise. As I jumped down from my steamroller, wondering if maybe it was a Riley rabbit or a, or a possum. You know, that would be terrible because I don't like hurting possums. They are defenders against, for all of us that don't have shirts, uh, because they, they eat mosquitoes and, and ticks. But any, anyway, yeah, so, um, so I jumped down, I looked, and there it was. Just a sneaky little squirrel that couldn't sneak fast enough by the old steamroller. And, uh, gentleman walked up and said, who cares, it's just a squirrel, they're basically rats and trees. And that's when it struck me. That just because they look cute, just because they sneak around and hide nuts everywhere, it doesn't mean they're adorable, they're probably just... Contagion-filled bags of adorable, and so uh, that's why I don't like squirrels. That's what you—that's what you got. Nobody needed that. I'm going to take a four-hour nap. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna take a five-hour nap. Well, thanks for watching, folks. And if you liked the video, then you should subscribe and like the video. If you want to be notified of when we release any new episodes, you should hit that bell. Get ready, I've been informed that Kadoodle's going to sing now.
Once upon a time, a girl with moonlight in her eyes put her hand in mine and said she loved me so. But that was once upon a time, very long ago. Once upon a hill, a sass beneath a willow tree, counting all the stars and river the dawn. But that was once upon a time. Now the tree is gone. Squirrel Science.